love you. You be good, okay? My wife is leaving. She's going out of town. I'm going for a few days, y'all. We're gonna miss her. I love you. See y'all tomorrow. Levine left, we made it. Daltry made it. Back here, y'all. This is a perfect spot. I wanted to give my son a new puzzle set because he loves puzzles. His uh, one he's working on right now is 100 pieces. So I think we're going to up him a little bit. He loves putting together puzzles. Every single day, he puts a puzzle together for my son. This is like a great selection, y'all. Look, all these are puzzles. So if you're looking for puzzles for a kid or puzzles for yourself, they got, they got some... Some nice ones over here. And y'all know this is my favorite game right here, checkers. I don't care what nobody say. I say if you do the rules, like the hood rules, like New Orleans style, the rules that I know, you can make that game a complex thinking game. And I bet no one could beat me at checkers ever. No one could ever beat me at checkers. I'm a checker master. I think checkers is harder than chess. Yeah, I said it. But anyway, I'm gonna get these for them. Got five, got a few hundred ones. And then I got a 500 piece. Oh man. My lady, she's in New York, she made it all right. But man, I haven't told y'all, but I've been having pain in my ear, in my ear canal. Like, I don't know what this is, but it's like a sharp pain. Like my hearing is like weaker on the side. Like I don't. So annoying. Direct TV's not working, but I'm so thankful for this day. It's been an interesting day, you know. Uh, Jordan spilled something on the couch. Yeah. Just one of those days, yo. When it rains, it pours. Just everything is just off. I know tomorrow's gonna be a fresh start to the day. So I'm looking forward to starting all over again with a brand new day. It'll be alright. Whoa, what's up? New camera, new lens. How y'all liking this this angle? Let me love you, man! Man, I miss my wife. I'm just gonna start off like that. <laughs> I haven't seen her. I'm so used to the day-to-day -day things being taken care of and my baby, she's not here. I hope she's having a great time. I know she's having a great time in New York. New York is the best. I miss New York, can't wait to go back. Definitely like no other city. But I know she's out there handling business. Lots of meetings, a lot of boss things my lady's doing. Shout out to all the boss queens out there. Shout out to all the boss queens out there doing y'all thing. Staying composed, not being distracted by male or female. Shout out to y'all, I know a lot of y'all watch. A lot of strong, beautiful women watch these videos. And I appreciate y'all tapping on this video because you could be watching any video on YouTube. You choose to decide to watch us. And I appreciate it. Let me love you, man! Hey, y'all. Thank y'all for tapping on this video. You could be watching any video on YouTube, but you decided to check on us. And I appreciate that. Cheers. So, beet, carrot, orange, and lemon. Check it out. I mean what I say. It's all about what you put in your body. Y'all, talk to my mom, talk to my dad. Man, I love them so much. They called to check on me, make sure I settled in after the wedding. It was like a week 
of recovery from the wedding. A lot of people in town. Dee's mom stayed for a little bit afterwards. And I feel like we just coming down off of it. And I've been dealing with a lot of stuff with the house and my ear. I still can't really hear my right ear, but it is what it is. Hopefully just go away on his own. Dee's in New York. Shout out to my lady. She out there handling business like a boss that she is. Talked to her earlier. She's more worried about me than everything she got going on. And I'm like, baby, I'm good. It's an overcast day out here today. Overcast day, it rained for a little bit, it's weird. Got a DirecTV box to take back because they sent me a new box, so hopefully that's fixed the problem with my DirecTV system. My internet, y'all know I have problems with that. I'm just going through a whole list of problems I've been having. But, God is good. I talked to my mom and, and I said, Mom, I don't know if, if I know how to like relieve my stress and my anger. It's still a day-to-day -day thing with how to deal with anger and when I'm pissed off. And one of my pet peeves is, one of them is electronics especially when I have something new and it doesn't work. Ever since the move, everything electronic that we've hooked up, it hasn't worked. I've had guys come out for internet three times, direct TV came out three times, security camera guy came out multiple times. He still need to come back out. So that's one of the things I, I don't like when things don't work. I, I'm not a professional in all these fields and when they telling me, oh, it's just one or two things you need to do and I do that and it doesn't work, it's gonna piss me off. So I was telling my mom, I said, man, I don't know how I'm supposed to relieve the stress. I don't like complaining, but I did talk to her about it. And um, I think she's right. She said, just you talking about it to me and to someone, it helps. It makes a difference. It helps you get off your chest. I told her, mom, I go to the gym. I go in the sauna. I do all kinds of stuff. I eat better. I eat. I try to talk, talk better. How do you vent without complaining? How do you talk about problems in life without complaining? That's, that's my question. That's my thing. I don't know. How can you relieve your frustration, your anger without complaining. Is it complaining? If you're talking about your problems or if you're talking about what's going on, that's the only way I could logically explain it. The fact that I'm just talking about what's actually going on, not complaining. You ask me what's going on in my life, I told you X, Y, and Z, that could be taken as a complaint. And I don't like complainers. I don't want to complain ever. But I just told my mom and I do feel a lot better. I've calmed down. I've made better decisions and I was able to fix a lot of different things because I calmed down. So I made that be a lesson to you out there, all your young people out there. Stay calm, try to calm yourself down and maybe you need to release it and uh, you know, just saying what the situation is. I'm not going to run into somebody. My mom called me and asked me what's going on with me and I asked her what's going on with her and she said she's doing good. Look at that, man! Take that. Take that, take that. Yeah, and throw the ball. Okay. So we're going to take the middle part out. Look at the ball. Yeah. All right, take the middle out. Ready. Yucky ah. and then. Yeah, here you go, Jerry. Close that. Yucky. So good, Jerry peels his peeling into the trash. Can. Yucky. All right, good morning. <laughs> 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 you went to sleep, you were <laughs> You were snoring? Yeah. You were knocked out, Joel? Yeah, I turned your light. Oh, you turned on the light and you, huh? Yes? Yes? It's mud. It's mud. Oh, it's mud? It's mud. There's water outside, y'all. It's rain coming out the sky. My kids don't know how to react. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. I'm cutting up some strawberries. I have some, what are these called? Chickpea cracker things? What are they called? I forgot. But cutting up on this Louisiana chopping block, huh? That was very chewy. What? That was very chewy. Stop it chewing? Yeah. I don't want to stop chewing. I have to eat the crackers. You're sure to eat the strawberries and oranges. Okay. Nice. I'm gonna eat another. Oh, that's My kids know how to get in there. They're orange for you. No, here's an orange for you right here. Here, Jordan. Thank you. I'm gonna peel it. Okay, you're gonna peel it? A sticker. That is a sticker. <laughs> you gonna take the sticker off? Huh? Huh? That was okay, it's awesome. crazy. Another day. It's like day 20. I haven't had my wife in my life. Daddy. She left me for New York. Daddy. New York, y'all took my Daddy. wife. Daddy, yeah. Huh? Say to it. 
Okay, I'm gonna start it off for you. Let's right. start it off, and y'all got it. So yeah, like I was saying, New York has stolen my wife. She's been up there for like a month. I miss her, I haven't seen her in forever. I'm just over here as a single father, you know, doing the best I can. <laughs> yes? Me. Show you what? Oh, I'm gonna show you. What? A candy on the trash. Oh no, ew, yucky candy. Oh, here are those chips right here. Brown rice and chickpea crackers. Shout out to them. Ew. That's not. Let's feel it. Candy. Yeah, yucky candy. Yandy, oh, candy is gross. What's that? A line. Oh, it's a line. Uh oh, someone spilled it. He always lines up his oranges after he peels them. This mm -hmm. one, Daddy. Huh? I did the one, Daddy. Oh, it, it went away? You moved the line? Yeah. So like I was saying, doing the best I can. This is the kids' breakfast, the strawberries. I don't know how to cook. I was telling my sister and I was telling D. I said, man, I think this the year where I'm gonna start learning how to cook. Or oh, not learning, but just start cooking. I think cooking is all about following directions. I feel like I can follow directions. What happened? In my owie. Oh, you had an owie? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just my time of year. This year. To start, uh, cause this, this, uh, my wife leaving me has been an eye-open experience because I'm so used to her preparing my food for me because that's what she, you know, that's what she does for me. So I've been spoiled by my queen. She treats me like a king, you know, what can I say? But, um, yeah, these, these two months have been um, have been interesting with trying to feed myself. I don't eat pizza and french fries no more, so I gotta really learn to like prepare something for myself. Yucky. I gotta act like an adult, you know, That's for yucky. cooking. What's yucky? Yucky french fries. Yeah, that's right, Jerry. French fries are yucky. I love you. What are you doing? Yeah, but anyway, I love y'all. Thank y'all for tapping on this video. You ain't have to tap on this video. You could be watching any video on YouTube, but you choose to decide to chill with us. Thank you.